The mean and the median are the two of the measures of our center. Now, by definition, the mean is the sum of the set of observations divided by the number of observation. Now, in statistics, the mean is usually denoted by this symbol right here, which is our x bar. Now, by definition, median is the midpoint of a distribution, which gives a number such that about half the observations are smaller and about half are larger. Now we're going to talk about the properties and the differences of the mean and median as the measure of our center. Now mean, by definition, and its property is a non-resistant measure of the center, whereas the median is a resistant measure of the center. Now in statistic, resistant measure means it's a statistical measure which can resist the effect of the outlier or outliers. Now to further illustrate the meaning of the resistant measure of the centers, we're going to have an example of some data set to see how we can tell if uh, one is a resistant or non-resistant measure of the center. Now in our data set, we're going to compare Barry Bonds' home run hits to Hank Aaron's home run hits for their first 16 seasons. And here are their scores for the 16 seasons that they were playing in the MLB. Now let's measure the center of their distribution, starting with Hank Aaron's home run hits. If we are going to compute for the mean of Hank Aaron's home run hits and the median of his home run hits for the 16 seasons he's in the Major League Baseball, the mean of Hank Aaron's 16 seasons home runs is 34.9 points or 34.9 home run hits and its median is 38. Now let's compute for the mean and the median of uh, Barry Bonds home run hits and in this 16 season if we compute for its mean and its median Barry Bonds home run hits is 35.44 home runs and its median is 34. Now if you will notice Barry Bonds has an outlier of 73 home run hits in one season. Now if we're going to get rid of that outlier over there and compute for the new mean of this distribution you will notice that the value of the mean is now 32.93 which is a big change compared to the original mean of 35.44 with the outlier. Now, if you will see the median, the median did not change at all. So even if there is an outlier or if we get rid of the outlier, the value of the median is still the same. And it's because the median is said to be a resistant measure of the center. And that is basically how we can explain the difference between a resistant and non-resistant measure of a given center. Now, comparing the mean and the median of a distribution by just looking at their distribution, we'll see that the value of the mean and the median has a relationship when it is symmetrical, skewed to the right, or skewed to the left. Let's focus our attention on our symmetrical distribution right here, and you will see that the value of the mean and the median, they're both right here at the center because the value or the numerical value of the mean is approximately equal to the numerical value of the median if the distribution is symmetrical. And if the distribution is skewed to the right, notice that the value of the median and the value of the mean is now far apart. Now, Imagine your x-axis is from 0 to 100. The value of the mean right here will be slightly or higher than the value or numerical value of the median when your distribution is skewed to the right. And that is one of the properties of the mean and the median. And if you will look at the farthest um, distribution right here, which is skewed to the left, you will see that in the x-axis, the value of the mean is less than the value of the median. And that is because if your distribution is skewed to the left, it is said that the value or numerical value of your mean will be lower or less than the value of the median. And this is how you can compare the value of the mean and the median by just looking at their shape or the shape of their distribution.